Hey there, Roguelike fans, we are back to the 2010 7 day Roguelike Challenge with Toby the Trapper, or as I'm just seeing here for the very first time, the grand adventures of Toby the Trapper versus Wuggy the Warlock and his ugly ogres. Uh, I've never heard that full title before, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, this is Roguelike by Darren Gray, we've seen a few, well we've seen at least one of his before, Gruesome. Um, turned out to be a really fun game, more fun than I initially had given it credit for back in the day. And uh, I've personally seen a few of his others on my own time, um, including, oh, darn it, the one where you play an alcoholic in the apocalypse. I can't remember what the hell that's called. It was fun, though. I liked it a lot. Beat it on my first try. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I am therefore looking forward to this. Uh, Darren, as I've mentioned before, is a definite um, champion of the roguelike genre. He is a um, one of the primary hosts of roguelike radio. Um among other things, so um, definitely, if, if you're if you're deep into the roguelike genre, his is a name you will see uh, recurring uh, on the regular. Anyways, let's read uh, a bit of the readme to get the story down here. Toby the Trapper is a coffee break roguelike written in Free Pascal by Darren Gray for the 2010 Seven Day Roguelike Competition. One second. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It features a somewhat novel battle system whereby enemies can only be harmed by traps laid by the player. It's a moderately difficult game where any misstep can lead to instant death, but careful play can get you far. There are 13 levels, 6 bosses, and 15 ending variations. Have fun and be sure to try out many of the other great roguelikes written for the 2010 7-day roguelike competition. In regards to that last sentence, Darren, rest assured, we are doing so. Note, this is the Director's Cut version, not the original 7-day roguelike release. Uh, that's fine by me, man. I'm not, uh, not looking to recreate what, what was released on you know Day 7 in 2010. I'm just looking to find us the best free roguelikes that we can play and have fun with. Um, I think we've been very, very fortunate in our exploration uh, over the last couple of years looking at these things. Uh, the core gameplay is mostly unchanged, but there have been some rebalancing and added features. Please see the version history file. I'm not that interested in the version history. I'm cool with whatever you whatever you got on offer here, sir. I'm, I'm eager to play. Let's <clears throat> let's bring this up. Pardon me, Jesus Christ! Sorry. Press any key to begin. Press X for hardcore mode. Let's just press a key. Oh, let me move this a bit. What do we see here? Uh, you enter a cavern of dark, twisting passageways. In the distance, you hear the foul grunting of some ugly ogres, armed only with some gems of power normally used for mining. You plod bravely forward. Let me just double check the um, readme file. Do we have any controls down here? Because I didn't really see what's going on here. Oh, there's, a, there's more story. <clears throat> Brace yourself for more story. Godzooks! Woggy the Warlock and his gang of ugly ogres have attacked the tiny gnomish town of Turgleton and stolen the gems of power. Now it's up to the town's hero, Toby the Trapper, to venture into the villain's cavernous lair and retrieve the holy gem of life. Okay, we got a quest that I did not know we had. But this is no easy stroll down the mine. The ogres aren't just ugly. They're also big and tough, able to squash little Toby with a single swipe. So it sounds like a one-hit, we're dead kind of uh, game. And deep within the dark lair, Wuggy the Warlock and his fiendish friends guard the gem of life with foul sorceries and terrible powers. Still, it's not all doom and gloom. Toby is much faster than the big brutes and can see better underground too. The dumb ogres can only sniff their way around and it's hard for them to smell anything above the stench of their own ugly bodies. He also still has some gems of power to create traps to use against them and may find more along the way. So do you feel up to helping Toby fight these dastardly villains? With flashers and bangers and boomers and blinders and much more besides, you'll explore varied random dungeons filled with dread and excitement in your quest to help Toby defeat the wicked warlock and save his tiny town. Let the adventure begin. I'm guessing Toby, therefore, is a gnome. <clears throat> Doesn't explicitly say so, but he comes from a gnomish town, so let's, uh, let's assume we're playing a gnome. Uh, move with a number pad. Yes, that's how it's done, sir. Uh, let me make sure my number pad is functional. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. I'm just typing in this. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> move the numpad. Press asterisk or T to lay a trap of the selected type. may take several turns. Plus and minus switch trap selection. Uh, or you can also use the um, square brackets, whatever those are called. Uh, standard up or down on stairs, or just down, it looks like. So a, here's the different trap types. Digger takes two turns to lay, I'm guessing. Burrows through most walls, move into wall to use. Flasher, stuns a single enemy. Banger, burns a single enemy. Boomer, fireballs a small area. Blinder, blinds over a small area. Kaboomer, blazes a large circle. X-Boomer, 
shoots torrents of flame in four directions. Chaos Boomer incinerates over a large random area. Ultra Boomer unleashes chaotic energies over a huge distance, one use only. Caution, use with extreme distance. So that's, we may only have one of those. Note that Toby will not set off traps himself, but can get caught up in traps set off around him. I guess there's some tips. Let's read them. Having trouble? On the first level, your priority is to find the gem of power, which will unlock the banger trap. So we have to find these things first, I guess. Allowing you to kill ogres directly. Before that, you'll have to rely on the flasher trap to blind them. Blinded enemies will quickly lose your scent if you run away, and they may kill each other when stumbling around. You can lay unlimited traps, okay? So making large farms of them you can retreat into is wise. Remember, you can dig too, but it takes two turns. Best to lay a flasher or banger behind you before digging. On later levels, look out for more gems of power and several bosses. The first couple of bosses are easy enough, but the later ones are exceedingly dangerous. Beware. That's the entirety of the readme. I'm closing it. Let's click in here and see if we can move. Maybe we should put some traps out right now. Let's press a T right here. <clears throat> you lay a flasher trap. I mean, why not, right? If it's unlimited, let's just fucking cover our bases here. Oh, that's the end of that. It's like a similar cave generation to his gruesome. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little, little narrower passages here than we saw there. I'm guessing that's an ogre. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's just avoid them for now. We're looking for a gem of power that will let us put out something else. Ah, so I see. If I press uh, these keys, I can go to Digger or Flasher. Interesting. These keys being the... I'm probably dead. They're probably going to come diagonally and get me here. I think I'm dead. I'll put a T here. <laughs> Raging over rips over your stomach and begins devouring your entrails. <clears throat> All right. One minor thing. Uh, don't don't have your game dump me to freaking thing. I want to keep playing. I also just stopped recording by accident, but uh, I'll just staple these together. That's fine. Okay. Um, press key. All right. Let's uh. Let's do better. What do you say? They can sense me from pretty far away. I'm actually a little surprised how far they can sense me. <clears throat> Given it said that, I thought it would be like maybe three squares or something. Maybe it is. I don't know. Let me rearrange my desk a little to facilitate playing this. <clears throat> That's not good. Move, mouse. You're unneeded. That's better. Hmm. Alright, I'm kind of trapped up here. Let's hope this, uh... These flashers take care of them. I don't know what to do, guys. I was kind of trapped. Let's try that again. <clears throat> I'm, I'm intrigued. That's for sure. I do need you now, Mouse. Come back. Um, this is looking interesting. Definitely not your typical roguelike. Let me see if I can play a little better. <laughs> I think I just said that a second ago. But let me play it as if my life depends on it now. Ultimate Iron Man mode. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's put out a bevy of traps right here. Why not? Is there a reason not to put one out after every step? <clears throat> no matter what, I know I'm safe. Let's fill the entire goddamn thing with traps. No reason to go up here. Man, they are everywhere. There's one coming from the bottom right. We are trapped if we head above. 
On the other hand, if we can get them to step on this. Oh, maybe he's not coming. I can press 5 to pass my turn, apparently. Alright, we gotta dash past him and hope we can do it. We did. This is tricky as frack. I'm afraid to head northeast because I'm afraid he'll get me, but if I stay here, I'm dead, aren't I? Alright, we, we blinded him for a second. Jesus Christ, this is not uh, not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. There's a power thing we want. But we gotta get past this guy. Holy moly, it's a gem of power. Now you can give those ugly guys a freaking surprise. It's a nasty. Why I supplied profanity instead of nasty, I don't know. My apologies. A banger. You lay a banger trap. Did that kill it? Is it one shot, one kill for now? Okay. You hear a distant click, I think, means they stepped in my trap. Let's start putting these things out and killing as many of them as we can. <clears throat> there, I did it. All right, th so this, this this trap works quite effectively against these basic ogres, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, this is interesting. I like it. Freaking love roguelikes, man. I mean, that should be kind of obvious by the uh, by the subject matter and title of the uh, channel, but just unlimited adventure and unlimited because of the seven-day roguelike challenge and all these various games that are out there. Unlimited varied adventure, right? Who would have uh, foreseen this specific adventure of you know dealing with ogres in a cave? It reminds me of the days of you know. Buying fighting fantasy novels or um, or old endless quest books, you know, where it's just like a brand new adventure every time, and you just don't know what to expect. I mean, definitively not every time when you play them repeatedly, but you know what I mean. Every book is every book is different than the last. There may be a, obviously a, some similarities, but different environments, different enemies. I don't know. I was slightly babbling, but maybe you get my point. I don't think there's a reason to stay around and kill the rest of them. Let's get down to the next level to get, I guess, the next gem of power. Using the T button to lay some traps here. The flasher has obviously become completely obsolete for the moment. Almost obsolete. I guess you could use it to make them kill each other. <clears throat> but more or less obsolete. When you consider with one, one single hit, this kills them. It's much better to have them gone than it is to have them wandering blind. Like, you don't have to worry about him anymore. That's great. Let's not move too quickly here. It'd be pretty easy for me to... <clears throat> to do what I did in The Spy Who Rogued Me, where you just get kind of complacent, and then all of a sudden you're screwed. Zoinks! Another gem of power. Time to add some booming sound to the underground. Let's look at what Boomer did. I apologize. Give me one second to look at this file because I've totally forgotten what this is about. <clears throat> Boomer. Fireballs, a small area. I don't think we need to switch to that yet. Our banger is working just fine. And I don't want to get caught in the blast radius, you know? I mean, we could try it right here just to see if we can kill two of them. But then we run into problems like this. Let's go back up to a banger. Hopefully we got two of them there. Well, we can get away from this. Like the banger's doing the job for now. I don't see a reason to risk. Like I got nervous there when, when I suddenly realized, oh shit, there's one just two coming from above and there's one coming from the south. I thought if I stick around, I'm gonna get myself caught up in the blast. So suddenly I was nervous and it, I could have taken you know, just putting out a couple of bangers and letting them walk sequentially into them would have worked just as effective, so... Effectively. So in that regard... Maybe it made more sense just to stick with these. I think we're looking for the uh, staircase down. We've already got the boomer. <clears throat> I don't know if there's... If, whoa! If there can ever be a second gem of power on a level. I also don't know if the monsters are regenerating, i.e. when we kill one, there's one more popping up somewhere else on the map.
or if we're emptying the map of ogres. There's um I I mentioned a few videos ago that I'm, I've been playing. I haven't been playing the last few weeks, but uh, I was playing for a bit, a, a, a fair amount of Civ Six. I was getting kind of into it. It was fun. Um, so I had time lately to play. Um, but in that there are barbarians, you know, barbarian encampments that you can that pop up on the map randomly, and you can go clear them. And until then, they generate barbarians. But I did notice like you start to crack the code is that the right way to phrase it uh, you start to um, you know notice the the programming techniques and certainly as soon as you kill one barbarian encampment it instantly there's like a static number of encampments on the map I don't see what that said oh you hear a distant bang you hear gurgling scream oh yeah I'm killing something somewhere um so I found it kind of I think I think they regenerate I found it kind of weird that yeah every every single time I killed one the guard of one encampment I knew for sure another one's about to pop up and sometimes it would be like in my own territory sometimes not but I don't know. It, it took away a bit of the feeling of the um, of randomness, I guess. A bit of a feeling of organicness to their organicity. What the hell is that word? Um, to their, you know, spawning because it became very clear that it was a binary effect. One dies, one one appears. I'm enjoying this. Um, I'm not sure I agree with the idea of put as many traps out as you want. Um, I mean, who the hell am I to judge? Having barely played this game, it seems I, I can't assess its difficulty. So saying no, you know, it shouldn't be every single time. It shouldn't be an unlimited number because it's too easy or something is kind of... Um, Um, speaking out of turn when I don't know yet how difficult the game is or isn't. Um, but A, it does encourage you to press a lot of keys for no reason. I mean, I'm putting out all these traps. Most of these traps I put out will never be stepped on. They weren't put strategically. It's just um, carpet bombing, if you will. Down to the next level. Um, whereas if you can only put out, say, five or ten or something, then you can go collect them again or something. Maybe it would be or you can only put a three or something. I don't know. Maybe that would be a... It would force you to be more tactical in your laying of them instead of just spamming the world. I assume we're looking for another gem of power. I don't really know, to be honest. I don't know. There aren't... There aren't I think it says like 13 levels, and there aren't like 13 different types of traps. I don't think. Were there? Let's just do a. Let's just do our math here. I'm gonna go look at the file again, the readme file. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different kinds of traps. 13 levels. So it's not necessarily that every level has a new um, type of gem of power. Just some of them. Whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, for God's sakes, I don't want this thing on here. Go over here. All right, you got a white square on your screen for no reason other than that I clicked the screen and it won't... Oh, there it's gone, okay. <clears throat> the bangers seem to be getting the job done. I'm surprised that they're automatically an instant uh, kill and that so far the ogres have not gotten any tougher. They're still one, one shot, one kill. Again, I'm making judgments without uh, having assessed the full... Scope or you know difficulty of the game, but it's fine and interesting. It tells us we're on cave three, so at least it helps us keep track of uh, how far we gotta go. There is bosses, of course. We haven't met any of them yet. There are bosses. Pardon me. So I don't know if we're looking for a gem of power or if we're just looking for the stairways down. If the ogres grow in number, they become much more numerous. Is there no way onward here? Are we, um... Nope, I see a way. Then the boomers might become more uh, useful than bangers. As for right now, I got no problem with these things one at a time.
saying the word boomer puts me in mind of a, <clears throat> a very old video game that, my God, that I love. I remember reading about it on BBSs, and I, I, whoops, I didn't know at the time what people were talking about. Um, and that was Modem Wars. I don't know if you're old enough to have ever heard of that. It was the first, the first quote-unquote online game, you know, for, first multiplayer game played over a modem that I ever experienced. It was a real-time strategy game. Um, but you did have tanks in that game called Boomers. I'm guessing that's a boss. Oh, one hit? Okay, the first one is easy, they said. That was pretty easy. We killed the first boss with no, um, with seemingly no difference in difficulty than an ogre. I don't know if that's authentic. Maybe it moved faster than the other ones did, or maybe. Or maybe it. Pff, I don't know. Maybe it uh, could have used a, f a missile weapon or something. I don't know. Missile weapons would be particularly troubling if you're in a game with one hit, one kill. Yeah, I've heard about this game before. I, I never played it before. Um, but of course, again, because I... Whoa! I almost acted really stupidly there. Because I uh, listened to enough roguelike radio, I've heard him talk about it before. Always curious. Oh fuck! I just I just pressed the buttons too fast, guys. The squinting ogre tears you limb from limb and starts popping the pieces down his throat, chewing merrily. I will uh, another thing I'll point out here before we uh, before we call it quits here. Um, I might play one last round. Should I? I don't know, man. That's a long way to go. Um, I'll try one more. I'm enjoying it. I do like the fact that uh, right here it says uh, the the death the death sentence the death output is different than the first time. I don't know if that's randomized or if it cycles through them or something. But that's that's kind of fun. All right, um, that was just dumb of me. Uh, the exact same thing that happened in Spy Who Rogued Me. You get kind of used to being like, okay, everything's fine and easy, um, and you start spamming keys. If I act with a little more caution, I think we can maybe beat this. Let's try one last time. I'll, I'll probably throw caution to the wind for the first few levels because I just want to bore you by going through it again. But uh, like by taking my time with that. But once we hit uh, Cave Three, let's say, let's uh, start slowing down and seeing if. We, come on, mouse, do your job. Holy shit! I don't care if my desktop is cluttered. Do your job. Okay. Um, let's put you over here like this, like so. All right. That said, we know how to. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Let's see, work with the blue damn ones first. We gotta find that blue gem. That first gem of power. All important. There it is. We gotta get him trapped and wandering the wrong way. Hopefully, because we know where to go. Fuck. They may have cornered us with these things. Okay, we did it. Okay, let's switch to bangers and mash some ogres. Yeah, they do respawn. You see that? Because there was nothing up there. Unless there's a unless there's a way through to the uh, southwest in that top left cave, then they respawn. I'd like to find that out personally. I kind of want to go up to that area. Let's do so. Hey, I'm right here. There you go. To get a definitive answer. Okay, there is an area. So it could have come out of here. It's unlikely, but it could have. We don't have a definitive answer as to whether or not they respond yet. Let's find the stairs. <sighs> Does tire my arm out. Maybe even a trap for the for the spammer like myself. If you say that if you try and set a trap on a trap, it sets the trap off on yourself. Might have been fun just to make sure you're not just doing what I'm doing, which is press a key, press T, press a key, press T. <clears throat> or because that's a viable strategy, you could have a little. Uh, this is me instructing Darren on how to improve a game from ten years ago. 
Um, you could have a little toggle effect, a little toggle um, thing on the right that says, you know, if this is on, every single time you take a step, lay, a, lay the current trap. That would save me having to press the buttons all the time, and yet it's the tactic I'm going to use anyway, so... A little nicety. I'm enjoying the game, though. I think it's pretty fun. Pretty cool. A little different than things I've uh, seen before. Again, the thematics... I mentioned this with Spy Rogue Me. It's interesting that such a simple thing uh, can make a difference. But yeah, playing what I'm visualizing as a gnome, playing it with the only ability to kill with traps, obviously, is a, is a conceit of the game. But also just the fact that there's only ogres, this cave filled with ogres, is in itself kind of neat. Let's go this way. Where are you, stairs? I think the only real uh, threat, as long as they, as long as they don't start moving like super fast, the only real threat is if you, oh, if you do what I just did, you get into a rhythm of moving and you don't check. Although that one actually, I couldn't see it, right? I couldn't see it. That one got me by surprise. So fair enough. That's just me uh, wandering a place I didn't know he was there, and as soon as I stepped there, it was his turn to move. So that's fair. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely like the game. I'm not going to keep playing it right now because my arms are already getting tired, and it's been about uh, I don't know, roughly a half hour. Um, so, we're going to call right there. But it seems like a pretty cool uh, conceit. There's another one I'm going to put on the list of, uh, for now, a purely mental list, uh, of which I've forgotten 85% of <laughs> roguelikes I want to return to and try to beat at some point, just because I think they're really fun. I think this one's pretty cool. Um, again, I never find the time to actually sit down and just say, I'm going to play a roguelike for the sake of it anymore, because especially with my arm, my arms being in kind of a not great zone right now, um, if I do that, then I may not have the remaining... Um, manual ability to play a second game for a recording, so I might as well just keep keep plowing forward with one recording a day as as best I can, whenever I can. Anyways, I will include a link to where you can find Toby the Trapper. It is worth it. It's pretty fun. Check it out. Congratulations, Darren Gray, on an awesome game made 10 years ago. Talk to you later.